Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today what I'm going to be doing is cracking open a rather fascinating box for the first time. This is something that showed up in the mail, I knew it was company. This is from a company called Mysterious Package Company. And when you order a Mysterious Package Company package, this is how it shows up. And I'll, I'll show this off a little better um, under the other camera, but you notice it says like confidential on here, case files, There's, it's, it's like a stamped box. Um, on the edge, it does tell you what in particular we're looking at. And in this case, this is the latest um, box from Mysterious Package Company, part of their post-mortem series of games. This is Ghost in the Machine. Now the entire thing with Mysterious Package Company is you're supposed to buy this for someone else. And it just shows up at their house and says confidential case files and they're like whoa what is this it's a mysterious package what do i do with it so what we're going to do is this is my first experience with those is we're going to crack open this copy of the ghost in the machine now this is a preview it is a, a not a prototype but a preview of a yet to be released product and i do have to thank mysterious package company for sending this over for us to check out and review. So you can't get this one yet, but it'll be coming soon. And when it is available, we will be dropping a link in the show notes down below. So let's open this up and I'm gonna first move over to the table view here to kind of show it off. So not trying to show off my address here, but you can kind of see how it shows up. So you got like a stamp here, it says private detective, confidential case files. This is the Canada Post shipping. Again, this kind of indicates what you're getting. Um, there's another shipping label over here, but that's it, right? So let's take a look inside my first ever Mysterious Package Company, which of course I did know was coming, so I don't get the full surprise of being like, what the heck is this thing that just showed up on my door? Okay, trying to see the best way to open this appears to be a front flap here. So we're just trying to cut the plastic off here. Tape, lots and lots of tape. So is this a flap? No, it wants to open the other way. All right, so we're also gonna cut. There we go, it's gonna open that way. Looks like maybe the front was gonna fold out. So yeah, even though this is kind of dipped, this is actually to open this way. So here we go, what we get inside the box I'm just going to show everything off. I'm not going to read anything. I don't want to spoil anything, but I do want to show off the components here. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. That alone is really freaking cool. Check that out. You have a faux leather case here. Look at this. Like a sachet. All right, we are going to open this. So I got to figure out how how this opens. Step one. All right, here we go. We got this side. Am I going the right way? No, nope, that's tightening. No, nope, that's also tightening. So I gotta go this way. All right, we got one open. All right, let's, let's take a look here. Oh, look at all this stuff. Okay, we're gonna turn this sideways. And we're gonna just, there's a pile of stuff in here. Oh, it's chunky. There's all kinds of neat feeling things. All right, little evidence bags. Okay, I don't wanna spoil any, so I'm not gonna open these up. But it says only open when instruction, sequence order B, open when instructed. So, oh, it's got branding on the back here. Very cool. Put that off to the side. This feels like a wheel of brie. <laughs> it's, it's very round. So again, a little evidence, open when instructed. You know what, I'm just gonna put these off to the side. We've got a checklist. So it's to make sure you have all the contents, which having played some of these escape mystery style games before, that's an important checklist, make sure you have everything. We have the rules. So this is post-mortem London Gothic Ghost in the Machine, the rules, which goes through everything. I gotta say, this looks pretty good. Does say follow the leads, investigate the city, examine elephant elements. So this is definitely like a solve the case more than solve the puzzle. Slice the steel. So it doesn't look like any internet uh, use is required, which is awesome. Sometimes these do. There's a whole list of notebooks, newspaper, 
Cool. The quality here is. Oh, look at this. It's, they're sealed with gold. So this is the ready to solve. Um, turn this over and answer the questions listed on the back and then reveal the inside. So the solution's in here. You got like a piece of gold tape sealing that up. There's more. Oh, look at this. There's a flipping novel. There's literal novel in here. Postmortem, land of thing. Book one daylight. You are the detective. Is it a witch way? It's a witch way book. Oh, how cool is that? Very cool. And another one. Two pocket novels. Book two darkness. Wow. Okay, we're still going. There's still stuff in here. A pencil. Well, nice of them to provide a pencil. I'm still feeling around. There's still tons of stuff in here. Oh, look at this. London Directory Notebook. Wow, it's like a phone directory. All different quality paper here. Oh, another envelope. Envelope. A, 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 a paper bag of evidence. More. This one's kind of heavy. Feels like there's a key or something in here. All right, that one's very light. We're finally getting near the bottom. We got a newspaper clipping. Well, not clipping, but like a, a sheet. Morning edition. Nice, something circled, that's cool. There's notes on there. And then a giant evidence bag. Confidential evidence bag, London. Okay, I think I got it all. See anything else in there? I don't see anything else in there. Look at all this stuff. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for a second. I'll make sure I'm not blocking my camera. All right, look at it. So we got this, papers, so many evidence bags. Let's grab that one, two, three, four, five, six different evidence bags, a newspaper clipping, two flipping pocket novels, like literal books, like you could go out and buy these. That is extremely impressive. A directory. Everything's falling over here. Pencil. And then three pamphlets that are more about how to play. So this is the, I assume you get these in all of them. So you got the rules, a checklist, and then when you're ready to solve. Wow. That is really a neat pile of stuff. Now I'm going to pack all this back in here. So I got to say, if anyone's got to read these novels, this may not be a single sitting game. There we go. There we have our case, our sachet. Again, not real leather. This is actually paper. You can kind of see it. There's, there's a little tiny bit of folding there. Look how thick that is. How cool is that? And well, since it's part of the fun, we're actually going to put it back in here. So it can be opened for the first time. All right, I gotta say, how cool is that? Did you see the stuff in there? That is really neat. This is my first experience with anything from Mysterious Package Company, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. Uh, we've reviewed and looked at a number of different puzzle games, escape room style games, um, where they mail you escape room information, various different styles of these murder mystery puzzle escape room in a box style games. And so far, this is uh, one of the most impressive component quality wise. I am extremely impressed by the contents of this package, even just the presentation. When I first opened this cardboard, I'm sure you could hear it in my voice. I was kind of blown away by, by seeing that faux leather sachet. That is just so cool. And then the amount of stuff in there, like there's two full novellas in there. They're chapbooks, or I, I'm not sure exactly what to call them, but, but um, really impressed. A bunch of other stuff. Can't wait to dig into this. So this was Ghost, the Ghost in the Machine part of the post-mortem London Gothic series by Mysterious Package Company. Generally not something you buy for yourself, but something you would pick up for a friend and have shipped to their house. And it would just show up just like you saw this, just like this right here. They get it and be like, what the heck's this? And then open it up and be like, what, what is all this? And evidence, I'm like, that has got to be a fantastic experience. So thank you, Mysterious Package Company, for letting us take check this out.
Now, when I do actually take this apart and play it and play it with the family, I will be doing up a full review over on the Tabletop Bellhop blog, which you find at tabletopbellhop.com. And we'll, of course, be sharing that review as part of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast and on our YouTube channel, where you can find all of our stuff, Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I am so looking forward to playing this tonight. Trying to find out if we can get through it in one night. That'll be good to know. And if like you're going to read those whole books. Oh, looking forward to it. Catch you later.